Hey, I'm Chef Andrew Parker. Today we are going to be making tuna romaine wraps. So with uh, tuna, it, it's good to have seafood once a week, right? Mm -hmm. It's full of zinc. What else is it full of? Fatty fishes are full of omegas, as well as they're a lean source of protein. So the omega-3 fats are a heart-healthy fat. They're good for brain, good for brain development, and then just a good source of lean protein. When buying tuna, if you buy it canned, it's a great way to have it in your diet more often if you live in a place where fresh fish isn't as available. So when looking for canned tuna, you want to find one that's canned in water as well as low sodium. Fish in general is a fantastic lean protein and canned fish is a little bit more economical than fresh. So here we have tuna and we have wild salmon as well. When you're looking for your canned fish, make sure you get fish that is low in sodium and it's also in water. When buying canned salmon, you want to look for the wild variety. Canned salmon is a great way to boost your omega-3 intake, heart healthy fat that's also great for brain health. Perfect. So let's pick a couple of these up. Sure. What do you say? So here I've diced a red onion. Hopefully you saw how I did it. It's a fast and easy way to dice it and safe. And I'm going to take this basil. We're going to chiffre knot it. And the nice thing about using fresh herbs is you don't need to add salt because they have so much flavor to them. I can use fresh basil in so many ingredients. <laughs> See those little strands that we're getting? That goes in nice to the dish. Now this dish that we're making is, um, it's perfect to bring for lunches. It's quick to make. It's very kid friendly. It's fun for the kids to make. Now here with the, the tuna flakes, make sure it's really well drained. Make sure that water is out of it especially if you're gonna hold it in your fridge for a while. We've put some mayo in here as well. I'm just gonna put a little bit of pepper to taste in here. Mixing it in. Now we're just gonna add some fresh basil into the dish. And some onions. Again, mixing it really, really well. Now the fun part. Can I do one with you? Yes. Now we're going to crunch the romaine a little. And you just want to take it and spread it through the middle. It's almost like sushi. Just want to roll it nice and tight. This would be a great appetizer too, because usually when you have, go to dinner parties or you're having people over, the appetizers are bread or some sort of carbohydrate with cheese. So this way you're just having a nice light appetizer that boosts your vegetable intake over that meal. Just like that, you got a romaine wrap. Want to try it? Sure, looks great. Mmm. That is good. Mm-hmm. 